So me and my partner were talking to you guys today, and it was pretty crazy. He was like, you know what? If we make $2 million each in one year, he says, we have to pay a million in taxes. And we worked so hard. And I said, yeah, I don't want to do that. And he goes, we're better off making like 200 grand each. And he goes, and just shutting down the company every year. Just make 200 because you only end up paying about 50 in taxes when you're done with all your write-offs and your mortgage interest and everything. And, and you don't have to worry about finding ways of putting your money here and there. And, and I just thought about it. I said, who the hell wants to make millions every year? I, I don't because you just give it to the government. And the government are a bunch of criminals. They're not doing anything good by us. Why would I want to give them any more? I, I watch some of my doctor friends struggle. They make 60 grand a month, some of these doctors, right? And they tell me, Ed, when it's all done, I make like five. I said, you're kidding me. He goes, think about it. He goes, I have this out to pay. I have to do this. I have to do that. I have insurance, this and that. He goes, I get to keep about five because of my insurance and everything. And I, they might have the big house and they might have all that stuff. But they don't own any of it, you guys. They don't own any of it. It's fake, all of it. No one owns anything. You know, until you... The only truly way to get somewhere is you have to become a criminal. And it's the only way that you can get anywhere is become a criminal. And because the government takes all your damn money. And it's not worth me, you know. And, and you can't cheat them or they'll put you in freaking prison. So it's like, it's better off just not making any money. You know what I mean? And... It's just the whole thing is sad. Unless, I guess, I worked for a year straight and took 90% of my income and just gave it to a charity. You know what I mean? And then you'd only be taxed on 10%. But it ain't worth it. It's not worth working hard and give it to a criminal organization, the mafia. Our government is the mafia. They all get inside trader information on, on stocks and they get enriched by insurance companies and pharmaceutical companies and, and they they just they're criminals they make money off war they just they're criminals these people I think a certain person becomes a federal uh, um, not just federal it's just politician in general is usually a narcissist self-seeking psychopath or a sociopath the majority of politicians are sociopaths I know some decent ones that you know they're psychopaths and they're they're uh, and they're narcissists, but they actually care about the people, which is kind of weird to be a narcissist and care about people. But they actually all their bills are for the American people, and I like that. And uh, and they they don't have two nickels to rub together. Some of the politicians I know, which tells me they're doing what's right, and that's good. If a politician's rich, they're not doing what's right. If a politician's broke and driving a shitbox car, then they are good politicians. Because you're only in there to serve, not serve self. And that's what we got going on here, you know? I mean, illegal aliens, they call them undocumented workers, and we give them money, give them a right to vote. I'm doing 55 and a 35, that's ridiculous. I wasn't even paying attention. Um, they, I'm not giving them any money. I'm not working hard for them. You know, on our 4473, the next check, you know, when you come in and buy a gun, if there's transgender on there, male, female, or transgender, oh my God, non-binary. And it's like, really? They're doing anything and everything to exploit us. And Netflix exploiting children and G-strings and stuff, trying to make Americans brainwashed to want to have sex with children so they can legalize pedophilia. Whoever wants to have sex with a child needs to die that's all there is to it I mean I can't even I can't even I can't even emphasize enough a person that sleeps with a child or even thinks of a child in any perverted way they don't deserve to live I mean I think all my viewers here agree with me I think 99.99% of the world agrees with me there especially if you have children do you want do you want adults sleeping with your kids no, ever, ever, ever. And our jobs as adults and Americans are to protect our children. Well, we got some serious problems. And you know, Americans are the weakest people on the planet. They will freaking just, just like, just like Australia, just like England. You guys are going to give up your guns. Watch. I know you will. 
You'll give them up. You'll give them up. It's going to happen. There's only going to be a small few, maybe 13%, that will die. I mean, I, and I'm gladly ready to die and fight, you know, because I don't even want to be here anymore. I'm to the point, I don't even want to be in... I don't even want to be on Earth. I, I'd rather just fight. But, you know, I'm not just going to go fight. I'm going to fight when the shit hits the fan. But, uh, you know, because my life is a gift from God. So you don't give up your life because of, uh, you know. But you, he expects us to fight. Don't tell me. You know, people go, oh, yeah, Christians are supposed to. No, Christians are supposed to fight. And they didn't do a good job. Otherwise, we wouldn't be in this freaking position we're in. It's because of freaking Christians. And their freaking complacency and tolerance. So oh, you're going to tolerate. No, you don't have to tolerate any of this evil. But we do. I don't tolerate anything. I'm like the only guy that will actually freaking speak out, too. God, i got to take a leak. All right, you guys. I'm home. Ed Mac.